Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, my name's Emmy, in case you didn't know, and um, I'm doing a new video today. I'm thinking of like starting um, a new series. I was thinking of calling it um, like Reminisce or Looking Back. I'm not quite sure, but you'll know by the title of what um, I chose. I was thinking of doing like a series about looking back on um, old things in beauty. So um, if you don't know, I'm like a massive like makeup collector. I'm not just like um, a makeup wearer. Um, and I'm not just a makeup artist, but I am also a major collector of like um, collections and things like that, um, particularly with um, old Mac collections. I'm a bit of a Mac nerd. <laughs> um, and lately I've been looking back at old videos that I used to watch about like when different collections um, came out. Like I've been looking back at old videos of some YouTubers that I used to watch and seeing them like talk about these stuff. And I, as, as a collector, I have like quite a large collection of these things that I've kept quite pristine. Some things I have used quite a bit, but um, I tend to keep them very pristine, very clean um, for the purpose of collecting them. Um, so I really want to kind of do some looking back on those, but also not just with particular products, but also maybe, um, sorry, not just with particular collections, but also with um, discontinued products that used to be kind of um, cult faves. Um, and also looking back at different styles and trends and celebrity icons. Um, so I really want to kind of look back on some celebrities I used to look up to for my beauty look and my fashion. Um, but today I'm going to be starting off with a collection, one of the larger collections that I purchased from, um, and one of the more early ones in my stash, um, and it is the MAC Hello Kitty collection. Um, this was crazy on YouTube when it came out, and because of that I bought a lot of it, and I've kept it in pretty good condition, and I really want to kind of look back and see the kind of things that were um, available almost 10 years ago. This came out in the spring of 2009, so it's almost 10 years ago, and um, and like I said, don't worry, I've sanitised everything regularly, not just like just now, but regularly I do it, um, and just kind of looking back at what used to be popular, the kind of things that they were bringing out at the time, um, and I'm going to do some, some other collections in the future as well, but I thought I'd start with this one since it is like probably my all-time favourite collection the Mac has ever come out with, because I'm a massive Hello Kitty fan. So, Let's get started. I've already done my base um, and also done my brows as well because I feel like I'm going with, because it's more like colourful, I want to have a bit more of a structure to my um, base. So I've done my brows, um, I've done my foundation, I used um, Dream Up Moves actually, which a lot of people, whenever I tell them that I still use this, everyone's like, what's wrong with you? Like, why have you not graduated to something else? Um, and the reason is I just love it so much. It just, it's so lightweight, it looks great, it's not too heavy coverage and it lasts a really long time I find. Um, and I use the shade for light porcelain, which is the lightest one that they do. A lot of people think it's 10 light, uh, no, 10 porcelain or something, but it's actually 04 light porcelain, it's the lightest one. Anyway, um, right, so I think I'll get started. Um, if there's anything I need to pull out from other products to kind of anchor the looks, and I will, like liner or um, like a base like what I'm using today, I'm just using my flash palette. I'm just going to start with a white base because the colours that we're going to be using today are quite colourful. Um, but we're going to use them in kind of like a sheer way, so I still want the brightness to show through. So I'm using more of a white base. Back in the day I probably would have used um, NYX um, eyeshadow um, pencil, jumbo pencil thing in Milk. Um, I loved that, but I don't have one anymore just because I used several of them to death. <laughs> um, and I went back, because we have like a NYX in my town now. Um, uh, not like a store, but um, a counter. And uh, they're like seven ninety nine now. I remember them being like four quid or something. But that's quite a lot considering that. I mean, they're really nice pencils and they come in like a massive range of colours. And I would like to really try them again, but I don't know seven ninety nine. That's eight quid for a bloody pencil. Mind you, I have cleared out a lot of my pencils, so I might want to retry. But then I'm like, I have this base and I love it, so why would I retry something else? I did used to love Strawberry Milk. That was probably my all time favourite one, so I might repurchase that one. Okay. So I'm focusing it more on like on the base and then blending it upward. Alright, so we're starting with eyeshadow obviously. Uh, the collection came out with two quads. So we have the Lucky Tom Quad, Lucky, Lucky, <laughs> Lucky Tom Quad and Two Dolly. So Lucky Tom was kind of more like, I guess the more neutral, more anchored look I guess, because you've got more like a gold, peaches, and then a pop of blue and then a brown. And then the Two Dolly was more like a playful palette. You have yogurt, which is one of my all-time favorite matte colors. I love that one. Um, you got like a pink, um, a aqua blue, which was very similar to aqua at the time, but that one's discontinued now. Um, and like a black 
sparkly black, which is very similar to black tide as well, but that one is stately black, not black tide. <clears throat> um, so all these colours, I guess quite, um, you can kind of recreate them from the current collection that I do have. Um, but they are still quite like fun to have in like little quads. Um, and I miss Mac bringing out quads like this. Like I loved these like long thin quads. They're just so I don't know. They just feel they have such good quality to them. And I like the kind of metal packaging is quite nice. Um, so we're going to use a mixture of both today. I'm going to start off with my base color. Uh, I'm going to just whack on some of that yogurt all over the lid. This is just a YSL eyeshadow, pen uh, eyeshadow pencil, eyeshadow brush. Um, so this is like, if you've not tried yogurt before, it's kind of like a really, really pale um, pink. Um, but it's kind of like, kind of similar to the strawberry milk that I was talking about earlier from NYX. It's got that real like milky pink tone to it. So the look I'm doing today is kind of one of my favourite looks I ever did with this palette. I had two like looks that I used to do a lot of these colours. Um, oh, well, by the way, I just had to clarify, because I am a makeup artist, I don't use any of these collection things on clients, <laughs> just because A, they're old, <laughs> um, B, I've used it on myself, and C, um, I don't want to show them stuff that they can't purchase if they wanted to get it. You know, if they're like, oh my god, I love that colour. Like, or so, say I'm doing a bride, and I use a lip colour that's limited, and they're like, oh, I need to get that so I can touch it up for the day, and like, Sorry, you can't. <laughs> I'll try and keep my kit fairly current. Anyway, um, but yeah, I love this colour. Um, yeah, there's two looks that I used to do. So I used to do the look I'm doing today, and then also I used to play up a lot with the aqua and the like, purpley blue. What's this one called? Styling. Um, ah, and then the stately black. I used to kind of have a, like a blue tealy smoky eye with them. That was a look that I love doing. Okay, so we've got that all over the lid. I haven't really put it up to the crease. I've literally just kind of kept it there. I might actually take a teeny tiny bit and put it right under the brow. Just so we get a little bit of a highlight, but I'm not really putting a lot in the crease just because we're going to put some other colours there and I want it that's still to have a little bit of tackiness. Right, and then I'm going to take a bit of the creme royale from this one. This is kind of like a white goldish colour. It's kind of like... Um, so I'm just popping that all over my eyelid again. I'm trying to think of from the current collection that it's similar to. Um, probably like nylon would be the closest, but nylon's a little bit greeny in comparison. This one's a little more kind of like true gold, like a like a yellowy gold, supposed to be greedy. <clears throat> it kind of looks like the effect, like in the pan, it looks like how vanilla pigment looks when it's on. Like vanilla pigment in the towel in the little jar looks white but then comes off like with this white gold like this whitish gold colour and that's what this looks like in the actual pan and then on the lids as well. So if you want the same effect probably say vanilla pigments probably gonna be closest or nylon if you want a pan shadow. I don't like pigments. Okay. So that's on. I'm now going to use my 217 an old staple of YouTube. Uh two, two, two. which one should I stop the pink or the blue? Probably start, I'll probably start with the this one, the styling, which is more like the purpley blue. So these colours are all kind of like, there's lots of brights in this collection. I'm keeping it like the outer part of my crease and then blending it through the brow. Um, there's lots of brights in this collection, but all the finishes are kind of like frosts and um, volux finishes and they're very, and like volux pearls, they're very like sheer. So the whole point of this collection to me was kind of like this sheer, soft, um, like playful colour um, to kind of, I guess, play with like the youthful um, aspect of um, Hello Kitty, which I love. Um, I feel like bright colours are definitely making like a comeback. I feel like at the, mm, the past couple of years it's all been about those like really like intense neutrals, so like your intense burgundies and warm tones. Everyone loves a bloody warm tone neutral, don't they? Um, as you see, I'm keeping it really, really soft. I'm really like just holding the end of my brush and using that, kind of tickling the skin. Um, and I'm taking it quite far out as well. Um, but I feel like people are 
I feel, I feel like people are exploring more with colour, not just though like in a bright way, but in these kind of really soft tones again. Like a lot of people thought these past couple of years, if you're going to go colour, you're going to go bright colour, which is great. But I feel like, which is great for people who love colour to wear it in like a bright way, but I feel like a lot of people kind of got a bit deterred about how to wear colour in a way that's still wearable. So then the warm tone neutrals kind of became like a massive thing. I feel like subtle colour is kind of making a comeback kind of really effortless colour which I love because I love colour and I, but I want to be able to wear it every day but not look like I've got a ton of makeup on. The look we're kind of doing is kind of like a cool, I call it like a winged out angel look because I'm using these real like angel, angelic, angelic colours, <laughs> I was just thinking did I actually say it right? Angelic colours um, in like a winged out formation. This look the reason why like I used to do this a lot and the reason why is because I actually remember when I used to I used to watch Nikki Tora's a lot when um, I feel like when she kind of did uh, not like a range of stuff but I feel like she did more like celebrity looks and stuff and now I feel like it is it's all I don't want to say like it's all the same because it's not but it's all her personality really now which is great and I love that but it's not really me whereas before I liked when she kind of did inspired looks by like celebrities and stuff. I don't know if she still does those but I still love her. I think she's a great person but just not the kind of videos I want to watch anymore. Um, but I used to watch, I remember her video for the Miley Cyrus Can't Be Tamed video, uh, video. She did like a look from that but not like the one with the feathers in her eyes but the one where she's like lying down in like a silver dress um, and like, on, like she's on like peacock feathers or something like lying down um, and it's much more like a glowy purpley look and she did that look and I was like, that was like a, a staple kind of shape that I started to do because I thought it was just so pretty. I've been spending loads of time on that eye. Okay, I think we're done. Okay, so we've got like the purple. And I'm going to go in with the aqua blue colour. The, um, what is this called? Oh, this one's the Lucky Tom colour. Skin coming out on the brush. All the same brush. I love the 217. It just works so well. I'm just going straight over that. I'm going a little bit more like wide so I'm kind of taking it a little bit further in a little bit further out and um when I'm taking it out I'm really kind of almost doing like a triangular shape up here but because they're so soft you can't really tell it kind of just like melts into the skin and on the um forward I'm kind of bringing it upward towards the brow you see how it's kind of like glowy because they're kind of sheeny I love this sort of look I, I want to know I always ask this to people what was like the first makeup product you ever bought? I always like to know. Like, I feel like everyone has, has like a memory. Well, like some, I feel like some people <laughs> don't know. But a lot of people kind of have like a little story and they kind of have like a vivid memory of when they got their first makeup product. I was, how old was I? I think I was like 11. Because I had really bad acne. So my mum was kind of a little bit lenient with makeup with me. Um, like skin stuff. Like I used to... Like she, we really invested in like my skincare and stuff because I had terrible acne. So I feel like by the time I was like 11, 12 and I was going to like um, like high school, uh, she was a little more lenient. But that the first makeup product wasn't um, a skin product for me, it was eyeliner. And it's because I used to steal my mum's eyeliner and that she didn't really like. She didn't like that I used to steal her eyeliner. Not because I was stealing it, but because I, she didn't like that I was wearing eyeliner because it made me look a lot older. Okay, I'm just going to go in with the pink and again, same thing. Um, than I was and um, but I was like really into kind of like the emo scene and just basically like my whole of my, like my high school time I was like really into like heavy liner and stuff and that was kind of like the start of it I was desperate for that sort of look so I remember I was like if I buy it I can then just apply it when I'm at school <laughs> so I went into Claire's and I bought this little set and it was of three eyeliners one was a black one was a pink and one was a silver and they were had black packaging and silver stars all over them and I used those to death. I used to put the silver all over my eyelid, like an eyeshadow, and I used to put the pink in like my inner corner and sometimes I used to put it on my lips if my lips have a bit of like a pink pinky tinge. Almost like a lip pencil. <laughs> and the black I just used to rim all over. I loved it. And then I got mascara. I think my first one was probably Colossal by Maybelline. 
And then when I was like, I think I was 13 or 14, my mum took me to a benefit counter and I got my makeup done, like my whole face, and we bought a couple bits and then that Christmas as well. Because that was like, what, September or something? And then that Christmas my mum got me basically all the other bits <laughs> from that. She like made like a note of them. So as you can see, we've got like a real glow in it. I'm sorry my lighting's just gone crazy now because the sun's gone in. <clears throat> but um, it's just like a really nice glowy soft effect that we've got and kind of like some bits are pink, some bits are blue and it's kind of all kind of marbled together. It's almost like, it's like candy floss look. Right, do I want to deepen this up some more? I think I will. Um, I'll use again a bit more of the purple and kind of just deepen up just more like the crease. Like really deep in the crease, but again, keeping my pen, my my pencil, my brush quite loose, just so we get a bit of kind of shading. Um. So yeah, just I like to know what everyone's kind of first makeup product was. I find it interesting. So we didn't use the dark colors, but I like it without the dark colors. Okay, and then I'm gonna use eyeliner. I'm going to use um, just my super liners from L'Oreal. I'm going to do my eyeliner and then I'm going to come back just because I might have to go off camera to, ca camera, camera <laughs> to get them um, kind of even because I have to look quite close because my eyesight isn't really good. Um, but I'm going to take it quite far out. I'm going to take it kind of fairly long and I'm going to keep it quite straight. Okay, I'll see you in a second. Okay, guys, so I'm back. Um, I've just done my eyeliner and my mascara, so I've done, like I said, a very straight outliner, and I feel like that suits the look because it's quite anime and, you know, kind of cartoony, which obviously Kat is like, um, like a cartoon, um, animation kind of thing. Um, and then I added some glitter liner actually on the lower lash line, um, because this collection actually did have a glitter liner in it, obviously I don't have that, um, but I'm just using my, um, heavy metal glitter um in grind from m decay which i love it's like a pinky kind of almost unicorn-y kind of color and i've just put that on my lower, lower lashes as well <clears throat> um just to kind of add like, almost like a glitter mascara i put mascara like regular mascara on as well did i mention that i don't know <clears throat> right so onto the face products um right so this collection had two beauty powders um one in pretty baby and one in tahitian sand tahitian sand was more like a nude peachy colour, which I've used quite a lot, <laughs> that was kind of like my everyday kind of colour, and then Pretty Baby was more like a baby pink. Beauty powders are very sheer, um, but I love them, um, they're just a lot softer, especially for a paler girl, it is nice to have something a little more soft, um, and then it came with two other blushes, I, can't, I don't, what it's called, like Fun and Games was the other one, and the Beauty Powder blushes, so they're a little bit more kind of, um, I don't know, like finely milled, they're not as powdery, um, and the one that I have is Tippy, which is like a bright pink. Cute. Oh, the collections used to be so cute back in packaging. Um, anyway, so I'm going to use a combination of all of those. Um, I'm going to start off with a cream brush, a stiffing brush. I got this palette from the Steve J and Yoni P collection from that. Um, and for this, I'm going to use. Oh, we can get away. <laughs> Don't know why that took me so long to work out. Um, right, I'm just putting that on my cheeks. My eyesight is terrible. I was kind of like trying to work out like where it is because they, they all kind of like blend into one. Just going to kind of play on like the brightness of the cheek colours that we're going to use. Okay. So I'm going to use all three <laughs> because I'm crazy. Actually, I'm going to blend that out a little more. It's a little bit too bright. Well, in real life, it doesn't look that bright, but on camera, it looks a little bit too much. Okay. Okay, I'm going to start off with a tippy. And I'm going to go into that with a very like, light hand. Um, I've used this brush. This is a 133 three or 138. It's like a tube tapered, kind of tulipy style from MAC. I'm going to take that on there and then I'm just going to fluff it on. I miss this Beauty Powder blush formula because it just goes on so smooth. Obviously, if you're more into like a really intense style blush. I mean, if they had like darker colours, they'd work, but it's not going to be like as intense as their bright colours in their regular blush line. But I just think, especially like for a paler girl who likes to wear bright colours, the formula just works so well. 
Okay. That one, and then I'm gonna blend that in with it a pretty baby. I'm gonna grab the same brush. I'm gonna really swell this one in, and then kind of run that around the cheek. It's not really kind of gonna put, deposit like a ton of color, um, because that's not really the sort of to do. They're designed to kind of add like a soft color glow kind of thing. So I use that to kind of blend out the color. And then I'm going to just top everything with a bit of the Tahitian sand. Almost like I'm doing that, but almost like a bronzer. I know it doesn't really look like it makes a difference, but in person, it just adds a nice sheen because this one's a little more sheeny than the Pretty Baby. Again, I'm going to go in with a bit of the Pink Fish Lip Tint Conditioner. How adorable is this? This is just so cute. Let me show you. It's just got Hello Kitty on, but it's just so cute. And the colour's like a nice, like, true pink, I think. So I'm put that on my lips. You could just leave it at this, but I'm going a little bit dramatic today because we're going to use all the products. And I have one lipstick from the collection. I went for Strayin, which is a frost. And look how cute! So adorable in packaging. So cute. Um, and it's like this, like I call this kind of colour like a party pink. The packaging has like a Hello Kitty engraved in it, which is so cute. And I'm just gonna... I want, it's got a little bit of sheen to it because it is a frost. I'm gonna really blend that in. Because I don't want to use a lip pencil. Because I feel like that would be a little bit too much with this look. So... When I do that, I just literally just do tiny bits at a time and just use my finger just to soften. And then a gloss, which I actually didn't open until a few weeks ago. I had never opened this. Um, just because when I bought it, I kind of bought it because I thought I'd like orange. And then I was like, nah. And so I was like, okay, I'll keep that as a collector's item. And I only bought, opened it a couple of weeks ago. This is in the shade Nice to be Nice. And it's just like an orangey gloss. So, right. Looking back on this collection... I feel like this was such a fun one. Um, I feel like MAC nowadays doesn't do as much bright colour, especially for two palettes, the only two palettes to have both bright colours in them. I think that doesn't happen as much, it's very neutral central nowadays, and I feel like you then, when you're just neutrals, you don't get fun stuff like this, like come on. This is just so fun, and like, but still wearable, it's not like I've gone like neon with everything. Like I'd still wear this out and I feel like people would just be like, oh she's wearing fun bits of colour today. And like a little bit of glitter. Yeah, so thank you for lasting this long throughout the video. Um, I'll be back with another one.